Okay, so let's talk about a little bit on elasticity and friction. I have prepared the scene. So we have this will be the ground and this will be a ball bouncing on this ground. So let's set the gravity to negative 1000. But now both uh, shapes are falling down. So the segment, I'm going to set the segment's body to a static body. And as I said earlier, uh, when you when you are using static or kinematic bodies, the mass and the moment of inertia are ignored, so you can leave them out and just type here uh, body type equals not pilot but pi monk pi monk dot body dot kinemat not kinematic but static. So we don't need uh, a moment for a segment. And now, as you see, the line segment stays here. Only the circle is falling. And there is an easier way to set a static body. You don't need to specify a body either. So you can delete this as well. And just give here the space that static static body yes and in order to position it now the segment that underscore body does not exist so you can say segment shape dot body uh, dot body that position equals 100x 100y and we can leave out the segment uh, delete the segment body here and we have the same as before but now only two lines of code of code with using this based static so let's set first the elasticity or the bounciness of the shape so circle shape that elasticity let's say equal to 1.0 now run it still nothing we, because we need to set also the shapes elasticity so segment shape that elasticity equals 1.0 so now let's see and now as you see the circle is balancing so let let me go here so let's go to the circle and as you see here is the elasticity elasticity of the shape a value of 0, 0, 0, 0.0 gives no bounce while a value of 1.0 will give a perfect bounce however due to the due to inaccuracies in the simulation using one or greater is not recommended using one or greater so I'm going to lower it to 0 0.98 let's say 0 0.98 so the elasticity value remember goes from 0 to 1 but using 1 is not recommended or greater okay so so the elasticity is the bounciness now let's go to the friction so circle uh, shape dot friction and let's 
set it equal to 1.0 and also set on the segment shape. So segment shape dot friction also 1.0 let's say and let me go back so here is the friction friction coefficient pi monk uses the column friction model a value of 0, 0 0.0 is frictionless a value over 1 1 1.0 is perfectly fine here are some real world examples uh, values from Wikipedia so aluminium copper brass here are the friction values for them okay and in the case you don't know what friction means uh, friction is the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces fluid layers and material elements sliding against each other there are several types of friction so if you want to know more just read through the wikipedia okay so now let's run it yes nothing happens because he it, the line segment is just a straight line so i'm going to make it a little bit uh, so here is the first vertex I'm going to raise it a little bit on the Y okay now as you see we have a nice simulation let's let's raise it even to let's say 60 As you see, I don't know if you will see it, but this um, circle rotates also. That's because the friction, if we take out the friction, if, yeah, if I comment out, the circle no more is rotating, just bouncing. Off screen, I just prepared this scene so with two line segments and a bouncing circle or a ball as you see it nicely rotates thanks to the friction so here is the uh, circle and I'm adding it to the space then I'm creating line segment 1 shape um, positioning it and setting its elasticity and friction and also creating a shape 2 segment shape 2 setting its uh, 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 body to space the static body and the same with the elasticity and the friction and the its position is on 100x and 100y and adding it to the space and why I'm adding it to the space like this is because so let's say if I comment this out and adding everything to the space at once so circle body circle shape segment shape 1 segment shape 2 it just uh, creates this mishmash so it's not how I want it to be so that's why I decided to add everything separately to the space so it's a nice simulation